my fellow geeks. Welcome to episode 5 of the Geek Fight series, where today the two most powerful wizards in the fantasy genre go head to head. Gandalf is a main protagonist in both the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit series by J.R.R. Tolkien. He is noted as being an angel incarnate in Middle-earth. Dumbledore is the headmaster of Hogwarts, the school of witchcraft and wizardry in the Harry Potter universe by J.K. Rowling. Brave, wise, and just. Round 1, Intelligence. Dumbledore's life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge and the advancement of the magical arts. He's the headmaster at the greatest wizarding school. He is the chief warlock of the wizen gamut. He's been awarded the Order of Merlin first class, and he has discovered the 12 uses of dragon's blood. On the other hand, you have Gandalf, who smokes a lot of weed. Round one goes to Dumbledore. Round two, Curiosity. Gandalf is said to be thousands of years old and has fought in countless wars. He has defeated orcs, goblins, trolls, foul beasts, other magicians and dragons. He defeated a demon of stone and fire known as the Balrog in a battle that lasted 10 days. Gandalf has stood shoulder to shoulder with man, elf, and dwarf fighting the armies of darkness and the evil Sauron, who is basically the devil on earth. In fact, there's no need to discuss Dumbledore here. Round two goes to Gandalf. Round three, durability. As I mentioned before, Gandalf is an ancient being. He belongs to the Maria, who are supernatural beings in the fantasy realm of J.R.R. Tolkien. He is basically immortal. We do have one case of Gandalf dying. After the fight at the Bridge of khazad Gandalf is reincarnated as an even wiser, more powerful wizard. In contrast, Dumbledore dies in Book 6. Round 3 goes to Gandalf. Round 4, Martial Arts. For this round, we are putting aside any special ability or magical powers these two may have and discussing their pure physical fighting ability. Through six Harry Potter books, Dumbledore is rarely seen in a fight, if ever. He relies solely on his magical abilities. He is a humble, soft old man who avoids conflict. Gandalf, however, is much more confrontational and not scared to start a fight. He would much rather punch you in the face and pull out his sword than use his magical abilities. His staff is also seen much more routinely being used as a club than to cast magical spells. Another round goes to Gandalf. Round 5, Special Ability. Although Gandalf is an extremely powerful wizard, his magic is more subtle, relying on persuasion, illusion, and the natural world. He relies on his vast knowledge and experience more than pure magical might. Dumbledore is quite the opposite. His ability in battle rests solely on his inherent supernatural powers. Transformation, teleportation, mind reading, healing, force fields, summon spirits, and energy blasts. Dumbledore is a walking encyclopedia of magical powers. He is extremely overpowering. You guessed it, round five goes to Dumbledore. After five rounds, Gandalf comes out victorious. Three rounds to two. Although I give the win to Gandalf, you could make a strong case for Dumbledore coming out on top. I absolutely love researching and discussing these hypothetical battles and would like to know what you think about this matchup in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.